Hey everybody, this is Dead Winter Dead with another Battlefield 4 video for you. Today we're going to be talking about squad leaders, specifically how to be an effective squad leader. Now this has less to do with mashing the spotting button on a friendly flag or an enemy flag trying to get your squad mates to attack or defend, and more to do with actually being aware of what is happening in the overall big picture. And what I mean by that is the disposition, strengths, and weaknesses of enemy units, as well as the strengths and weaknesses of your own units, specifically the squad mates in your squad. Now I know that a lot of you are like me in that you don't have a set group of friends that you constantly play with, so you usually have to rely on the abilities as well as the willingness to commit to teamwork of public players in public servers. And one way that's usually pretty effective to get public players to work with you is for you yourself to be effective. If you're constantly capping flags, if you're constantly uh, taking out vehicles, or if you're constantly on the front line actually working with the team, moving as an efficient force, trying to forward the objective with the ultimate objective being to win the round, depending on the type of game mode you're playing, you know, the the puppies are going to notice that, and they're going to want to be a part of that. I'm not talking about KD. I know that a lot of people, especially, uh, you know, the Battlefield series has gotten extremely popular in the last, uh, you know, several, several volumes of Battlefield. You know, Battlefield 3 was extremely popular. BC2 before that was, was popular. And now BF4 is, is probably, you know, the most accessible and popular game. And you're, you would attract a lot of... Uh, you know, it's been attracting a lot of players from other series. Now, I'm not here to start a flame war. I absolutely, um, you know, there was a there was a time where I, I played the the Call of Duty series and other FPSs quite frequently. But I do know that in a lot of those games, people gen generally tend to equate KD with skill, and that's not always the case. Now, of course, killing the enemy more often than they are killing you helps you overall absolutely I will not deny that but pushing forward and trying to achieve the objective for the overall good of the team and for ultimately the win of the round is a much nobler goal overall because in the end what's the point the point is to win the round so basically what I want you to take from this is while Watching out for your own key, your own KD and your own stats. You know, sometimes that's something you want to do. Um, in the end, you really want to work with a team, and especially work with your squad, to achieve victory over the enemy. Now, if you're a squad leader, it's your job on the battlefield to be able to assess what's going on around you and determine where your squad needs to be at certain times. If you're in a squad with a bunch of engineers, maybe you should go tank hunting or vehicle hunting. Maybe you should uh, attack or defend flags where there's going to be a high concentration of vehicles so that your squad can put their force multiplier to best use. If you're in a squad with a bunch of assault players, maybe you should be on the front lines, like in the thick of it, in the middle of the infantry heavy areas of the map, putting those med packs to use, putting those defibs to use, putting those excellent assault rifles and their high rate of fire as well as high damage output to use on the enemy against the enemy's frontline troops. That's where you need to be focusing your efforts. And as a squad leader, you should be directing and guiding your men or, or women, because I know there are female gamers out there, but you should be directing and guiding your soldiers for the good of the overall team so that eventually you will end up on top and you will win, win the round. And you'd be surprised, you know, you if you ha have, have squad mates that are following your orders, you rack up so many points, uh, so much more so than if you're just out there killing bad guys. So... Anyway, guys, this was just a quick little introduction on uh, some squad leader thoughts and ideas. Um, I'm going to come out with some more on this series on how to really be effective at it. But my name is Dead Winter Dead. Thanks for watching.